Thank you for watching the ILHE Direct User Guide Training video. This video is intended to walk ILHE Direct users through a variety of processes, such as logging in, reading and creating messages, and using the address book. Let's get started. To begin, open a browser window and enter the URL https colon slash slash mail.ilhedirect.net. You'll be automatically directed to the ILHE Direct login page. On this page, you will enter your login credentials. Enter your credentials into their respective fields and select Login. Upon successful login, you will be directed to the ILHE Direct dashboard. Let's take a closer look at the folders that you will be using most often. You'll notice that ILHE Direct Mail looks and functions just like standard web-based mail. All mail is delivered to the inbox. If you compose a message and want to send it later, make changes to it, or simply don't have time to complete it, it will be saved in the Drafts folder. The emails displayed while the Drafts folder is shaded gray are emails that have not been sent. After a message has been sent, it is automatically moved to the Sent folder. You can access this folder to see if a specific email or group of emails has been sent. All of your deleted messages are stored in the Trash folder. Any message that was deleted from any other folder may be recovered in the Trash folder. To read your messages, click on the Inbox folder. You will then see all messages available in your inbox. Select the message that you would like to view. The content of the message is displayed in the viewing pane below. To compose a new message, click on the Create a New Message button in the Mailbox toolbar. In the New Message screen, you will notice that the Menu toolbar is still available. You may select the Mail button to return to your inbox. The From field displays the direct mail address that will be used when sending the message. The To field displays the direct mail address for the message recipient. The Subject field displays the subject matter of the message. The Message pane below the subject field contains the message content. To add an attachment to the message, click the paperclip icon in the mailbox toolbar or the plus sign at the bottom of the attachments pane. Navigate to the documents you would like to include with your message, select the appropriate documents, and click Open. When you add attachments to a message, all attachments are listed in the attachments pane. If you click the red icon to the left of the attachment, that attachment will be removed from the list and will not be sent to the recipient. To add another attachment, simply click the paperclip icon in the mailbox toolbar. Once the message contains all of the necessary information and attachments, click Send. The address book contains information about your contacts, allows you to add, delete, or edit contacts, as well as import or export contact lists. To add a contact from your address book directly into a message that you are composing, Click the Address Book icon in the Mailbox toolbar. Use the scroll bar or the search field near the top to navigate to the appropriate contact. Select the contact and then select the appropriate field. To select multiple contacts, hold down the control button while selecting your contacts. Then select the appropriate field. The two CC or BCC fields will automatically be populated with the selected addresses. When finished adding contacts, select the X button in the Address Book screen to continue composing your message. To update or make changes to the Address Book, click the Address Book button in the Menu toolbar in the upper right corner of your screen. In the Groups pane of the Address Book, you will find the Global Directory. By clicking on Illinois Direct, you now have access to all ILHE Direct members. You may search for a contact in the search bar and select the contact from the list returned. You will also notice that you have access to different directories. Check the sidebar in your address book periodically as ILHE is working to establish connectivity with additional service providers. When new connections are made, new directories will appear on the sidebar to facilitate contact with users on these networks. You may access personal addresses as well as addresses that have been automatically collected by the system. If there are certain contacts that you communicate with on a regular basis, we recommend adding these contacts to your Personal Addresses folder. The Contacts pane displays the contacts for the selected group. To view the contacts for a group, click on the group name in the Groups pane.
the system will automatically return all contacts within that group. Once you select a contact, the system will display the details for that contact. To add a contact, select the group to which the contact will be added. Then click the Add Contact button. After clicking the Add Contact button, the Add New Contact screen will be displayed. Using the drop-down box, select the address book contact group to which the contact should be added, if different than the one displayed. Enter the contact first and last name. If additional fields are required, select the Add Field drop-down box. To add email address, phone number, and mailing address, you may first use the drop-down box to specify if the information is to be associated with the work, home, or other. In the event you need to delete any of these contact details, you may click the red icon beside the appropriate field. You may select the Add Field drop-down box to add additional fields for phone, email, address, website, or IM. When you have finished entering information, select Save. To delete a contact, navigate to the appropriate contact name. Select Contact Name and click the Delete Selected Contact button. The system will ask you to confirm this request. You may select Cancel to return to the contact screen, or select OK to delete the contact. Once the contact is deleted, they cannot be recovered. It is good practice to change your password at least every three months. To do so, click the Settings button in the menu toolbar. Select the Password tab. The system will display the Change Password screen. Your new password must include at least one number and one punctuation character. Enter your current password, new password, and confirm the new password. Select Save. By default, you should receive notification emails of new ILHE Direct messages at the standard email address that was provided when your account was created. This is usually your work email address. If you would like to change that notification email address or add up to four additional notification addresses, click the Settings button in the menu toolbar. Select the Notifications tab and enter up to five email addresses that you would like to receive notification emails. Click Add. If you have additional questions or encounter any problems, please contact the Help Desk by calling 866-936-1423. Thank you for watching the ILHE Direct User Guide video.